It's not news that 2014 will bring changes and challenges. Change is the only constant in life. We in Arlington have always welcomed change, carefully managed, with broad community involvement and thoughtful review. Sound planning and adaptability are two of our civic strengths. It won't surprise you that my focus for the year will be, broadly speaking, on sustainability, the ability to prosper through change. Everything we do should be judged by how it advances our goal of building a community that will stain, sustain Arlingtonians for generations to come. We have such a strong foundation to build on. When I moved to Arlington in 1983, 31 years ago, it was a somewhat sleepy place with an uncertain future. From my rented apartment in the River House complex, I walked on a dirt path through a field to reach the newly completed Pentagon City Metro Station. That field today is Fashion Center and Pentagon Row. Filled with people shopping, working, dining, and ice skating on the plaza. At that time, the most common landmark in the Roslyn Boston Quarter was a used car lot, many of them. The Sears Automotive Center had not been transformed into Market Common. The Longbridge Park was an industrial wasteland. Shirlington was dominated by the best big box store and a huge surface parking lot. Many of our schools and parks, public buildings were in need of repair. We had made the commitment to transit as our prime engine of redevelopment, but we're not sure how far it could take us. Now, after years of persistence, of patience, and sound investment, the results are clear. Between 1972 and the end of 2013, we have added about 40,000 homes, 40 million square feet of office space, and 4 million square feet of retail and services. And yet, traffic on many of our arterials is decreased. Our emphasis on moving people and goods, not just vehicles, has been so effective that today, more than half of all daily household trips in our dense corridors are made on foot, bike, or transit. 40% of all transit trips in the state, the entire state, begin or end in Arlington. We have won many awards for smart growth, but more important than plaques are the people who have been attracted by our exciting urban villages, our strong neighborhoods, our transportation options, and our walkable, bikeable streets. Today, Arlington has the nation's highest concentration of 25 to 34-year-olds. We are the location of the creative class. I'm particularly proud that through all this growth and change, we've maintained the very best characteristics of a small town. Our crime rate is low. Our streets are safe. Neighbors help neighbors. We continue to embrace diversity and to care for the most vulnerable among us. We've maintained that connectedness and a strong civic culture where the Arlington Way continues to thrive. Even through the worst of the recession, Arlington maintained a strong social safety net and continues to invest in our future. Our development policies have created a broad property tax base that is well balanced between commercial and residential assessments. So the tax burden is more equitably shared instead of being disproportionately borne by homeowners. Thanks to strong fiscal management, Arlington has been able to keep its tax rate among the lowest in the region. We have also maintained our coveted triple, triple A bond rating, one of only a handful of jurisdictions in the United States. This ensures that Arlington can borrow money at the lowest available interest rate, saving taxpayers millions of dollars on our capital investments in various projects. I feel confident that we can meet any challenge that comes our way. 